Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Music Class Online. Today, we're going to be reviewing syncopation, which we did a little bit of the last week, and identifying in a song. You can see our goal on the board. I can identify syncopation in a new song. We're going to play a game called Poison Pattern. You can see that's number three on our board. Then we're going to learn a new song called Little Lights of Jane, and then we're going to see if we can find some syncopation in that. Let's get started. So first of all, I just want to check in um, because I know we don't get to talk a lot now that we're online. So tell me, how are you doing? You feeling good? Feeling kind of sad? Maybe a little sleepy? A little calm? Write a comment below the assignment in the class comments letting me and your classmates know you're doing. I'll let you pause the video right now so you can go write that comment. Okay? Okay, did you leave a comment? Okay, let's get back into it. So we're going to play a game called Poison Pattern. This is basically like our game Salami, except we're going to use rhythms instead of pitches. So on the board, I have a pattern that you cannot repeat. You can see, I think I can highlight it with my mouse here, this pattern here. If we say this pattern using our rhythm syllables, we know that this is uh, half of a TT, so it must be just a T. This is our TA, this is the other half of the TT, so a T. And this is our TA, remember TA has two beats. So this whole pattern would be TITA, TITA. Try that, repeat after me. TITA, TITA. So we're gonna play two levels of this game. The first one, I'm gonna use rhythm syllables like we just did, and you repeat after me, but you do not repeat that patterns on the board. Tita, tita. Let's see if I can trick you with our poison pattern. Ready? Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ti, 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 tika, tika, ta. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Tita, tita. Oh, did I get you? That was our poison pattern. Let's try one more time with our real rhythm syllables, and then we'll try clapping. Ready? Ta, ti, ti, tika, tika, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Ti, ta, ti, ta. That was our poison pattern. Did you get it? Did I trick you? You did such a good job. Let's try clapping this time. So remember, our, our pattern, we clap it, would be tita, tita. Try that. Ready, go. Remember, our ta has two beats, so we have to slide up our arm for those two beats. So this time, when I clap, that's when you don't clap anything back. Got it? Let's try. Oh, that was our poison pattern. Did I trick you? Let's try one more time. Ready? Oh, that was our poison pattern. Did I trick you that time? Not bad. Let's keep going. So, as I said at the beginning, one of our goals today is to find syncopation in a song, in a new song. So, our new song is called Little Liza Jane. I'm going to sing it to you, and then I'm going to teach you the parts that go Little Liza Jane. And then we'll teach you the rest of it, and then we'll see if we can sing the whole thing. Here I go, I'm listening to the whole song. Just listen. I've got a house in Baltimore, Lil' Isaac Jane. 
Streetcar runs right by my door, little Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. A streetcar is what you see on that screen. This is a streetcar. It's a type of public transportation, like a bus, but they're not used very much anymore. Sometimes we also use the word trolley to describe this. So an old type of transportation. I'll sing this song again, and I'll teach you the responses. I've got a house in Baltimore, Lil Isa Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, Lil Isa Jane. Oh, Lil Isa, Lil Isa Jane. Oh, Lil Isa, Lil Isa Jane. I'm going to teach you the two Lil Liza Jane parts. Listen, when I sing the second line, this is what it sounds like. Lil Liza Jane. When I sing the fourth line, this is what it sounds like. Lil Liza Jane. What do you notice about the words? Right, the words are the same, that's easy. But what about the melody? Do they sound exactly the same? Or is one higher and one lower? Listen again. This is the second line. Lil Isa Jane. This is the fourth line. Lil Isa Jane. If you said they sound different, you're correct. Let's think which one is higher and which one is lower. Let's listen one more time. This is the second one. Lil Isa Jane. This is the fourth line. Liza Jane. Take 10 seconds, think which one is higher and which one is lower. Think. All right, you got your answer. Tell me which one is higher and which one is lower. If you said that the second line was higher and that the fourth line was lower, you're correct. Repeat after me. Lil Isa Jane. Lil Isa Jane. Do you feel in your voice how the first one we sang was higher and the second was lower? Let's try it again. My turn. Lil Isa Jane. Lil Isa Jane. Not bad. Let's see if we can sing the first section of our song. I'm going to sing the first line and the third line. Your job is to sing the second and the fourth. Remember that the second line is higher and the fourth line is lower. I'm going to sing the first line first. Ready? I sing this line, you sing this line. I sing this line, you sing this line. Here we go. I've got a house in Baltimore. Streetcar runs right by my door. Oh. I think some of you may have made a, made a mistake. Remember, you're not going to repeat after me. You're singing your line. Lil Isa Jane and Lil Isa Jane. Let's try it again. Make sure you sing your lines. Not my lines. We're not repeating after me. You're doing your part. My turn first. I've got a house in Baltimore. <laughs> Streetcar runs right by my door. <laughs> How'd you do that time? Do you notice I was helping a little bit? I was humming along to try to help you remember that line. Let's try one more time. I'll still hum for this time. Let's see if you can do it. Ready? I sing the first and third lines. You sing the second and fourth. My turn first. I've got a house in Baltimore. <laughs> Streetcar runs right by my door. <laughs> How'd you do? Better? Let's look at the second part. I'm going to sing the first and third lines, but the second and fourth lines are exactly the same. Ready? Oh, Eliza. Mm -hmm. Oh, Eliza. Mm -hmm. How'd you do? Let's try one more time. Remember, if you need help, listen to my humming. Ready? Oh, Eliza. Mm -hmm. Oh, Eliza. You think you can learn the other parts now? 
Let's look at this first line. Repeat after me this first line. I've got a house in Baltimore. Hmm, let's try it again. I've got a house in Baltimore. Not bad. Let's try this fourth line, the third line rather. Streetcar runs right by my door. Try again. Streetcar runs right by my door. So this time, you sing the first line and the third line, and I'll sing the second and fourth. I'll hum to help you. Ready? You start. Ready, go. <laughs> Lil Eyes are Jane. <laughs> Lil Eyes are Jane. How'd you do? Let's try it again. Again, you're singing the first and third lines. I sing the second and fourth. Ready? You start. Ready, go. <laughs> How'd you do? Let's look at the next part. This, the O Eliza's, let's listen to this sound the same or different. This is the first one. Oh, Eliza. This is the second one. Oh, Eliza. Same or different? Right, they're the same. They're the same. Repeat after me. Oh, Eliza. Let's try again. Oh, Eliza. Okay, so now your job is to sing the first line and the third line, also in the second and fourth. Ready? You start. Ready, go. Mm -hmm. Lil Eliza Jane. Mm -hmm. Lil Eliza Jane. Let's try it again, and then we'll try doing the whole song. Ready? You start. Ready, go. Mm -hmm. Lil Eliza Jane. Not bad. Let's try singing the whole song. The first time, I'm going to sing with you. And then the second time, I'm gonna just going to hum. So you'll have to do all the words by yourself. You can listen a little bit if you need help with the melody. So let's sing together. Ready? One. One, two, ready, go. I've got a house in Baltimore, Lil Eliza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, Lil Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Lil Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Lil Eliza Jane. Actually, you know what? We could do that one more time before I just hum. Let's try again for meaning. Ready? One. Oh, this is your first note. Ready, go. I've got a house in Baltimore, Lil Eliza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, Lil Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Lil Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Lil Eliza Jane. How'd you do? This time, I'm just gonna hum, and you're gonna do all the words by yourself. Got it? It starts on this note, I'm just gonna hum. You sing one, two, ready, go. Not bad. Later, I'm going to give you a chance to record yourself singing this song on Flipgrid and send me the video so I can listen to see how well you did but we'll do that at the end of this video. So, we just learned the Eliza Jane, but now we just figure out where's the syncopation in this song? And we practice that syncopation, remember, is we have a pattern that has the ti ta ti in it. So before you're practicing ti ta ti ta, but it also could be ti ta ti ta ta. It could be ti ta ti 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 ta. It could even be ta ti ta ti ta. Put the ti ta ti in the middle. Could be at the end. Ta ta ti ta ti. It's a little complicated. So we're gonna sing and clap our song so we can get the rhythm in our body. Then we're gonna audio it. That means is when we put the words in our, we put the melody in our head and the words in our lips. And then we're gonna see if we can figure out where is that part that goes ti ta ti. Let's start by singing and clapping. Ready? One, two, ready, go. 
I've got a house in Baltimore, little eyes are tame. Streetcar runs right by my door, little eyes are tame. Oh, Eliza, little eyes are tame. Oh, Eliza, little eyes are tame. How do you do? We could do with clapping that one more time before we just audience. So let's sing and clap again. Ready? One, two, ready, go. I've got a house in Baltimore, Lil Eliza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, Lil Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Lil Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Lil Eliza Jane. How'd you do? This time, put the words in your head and on your lips. Like this, let me go. So you're focusing on that rhythm in your hands. Ready? Just thinking the melody and putting the words in your lips. One, two, ready, go. Nice. We're going to try again, and this time, see if you can figure out, and if you're listening, where in the song is our ti ta ti. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Nice. So, think, where in our song do we find that ti ta ti? Where do we find it in our song? Ti ta ti. Think. Is it in the first line? Is it in the second line? Is it the third line? Is it the fourth line? What about the fifth line? Oh, Eliza. What do you think it is? If you said that you found syncopation in the second line, The fourth line, the sixth line, or the eighth line, then you'd be correct. We have that pattern, Lil Liza Jane. Oh, you know what? I think it matches that pattern we did with poison pattern. How about that? Tita, tita. So, wow, there's a lot of syncopation. Syncopation here, 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 here. Whoa. So, Nice job. I hope you're able to find it without my help. Let's see what our wrap up is for today. So just like last week, you have an exit ticket. You can remember you can access your exit ticket by going to the top right of your page under the assignment, finding where it says your work and underneath where it has your name. If you click on your name, it'll open a document where you should be able to write in that document the answers to these two questions. Two questions are, what are the rhythm syllables for this pattern, the one we worked in that's in our song, and also in uh, the poison pattern game we did. Remember, we're using rhythm syllables, so like ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, all those things. And then, answer that question we just went over. What words of Little Eyes of Jane go with that rhythm? Where did we find that syncopation in Little Eyes of Jane? Once you um, complete that exit ticket, then... I want you to post a video on Flipgrid um, of yourself singing Little Eyes of Jane so I can hear how you do. I'm going to post a link to Flipgrid in the uh, below this assignment. But remember, I also am going to put a uh, tutorial video, which I shared with a lot of you last week, and how you can get and log into Flipgrid. You just log in with your NYC Students account. So, complete your exit ticket. Post a video on Flipgrid, and remember to hit turn in so I know you completed the assignments. I look forward to seeing what you've written.
Let's sing our goodbye song. One, two, ready, go. Now it's time to go. We've been singing and playing all our day. Until tomorrow we must say. Now it's time to go. All right. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.